Dr. Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net on Tuesday, the uh, 3rd of June. Thanks again for watching. Now, I'm actually out of the office today at uh, Edgebaston Cricket Ground. Look, there you go, just the proof for you. At the uh, one day inter international match uh, of England versus Sri Lanka, and we've just broken for tea. Yeah, you'll notice that the uh, umbrellas are up. We've got some showers coming through, but hopeful that the match will resume as normal and, uh, at about uh, half past five tonight. But uh, the reason I'm here is just to give you a quick update on how things look uh, as far as the models are concerned today, particularly for next week. You know that I've been holding out for this date of the 10th to the 15th of June, and it still looks as if those are the dates that uh, we need to watch for the potential for the weather to be drying down and becoming warmer. I must admit, not getting much support at the moment from many of the operational models, but um, I am hopeful that as we get through this weekend, we will find um, the models coming on board and saying that uh, the high pressure will build in and we'll find dry weather and warmer conditions headed our way. So at the moment, no real change to that overall forecast of some dry weather coming through next week. Prior to that, they've got some heavy, heavy rain to come tonight and through Wednesday as well, particularly across southern and eastern parts of the country where we could be looking at rainfall amounts of 20 to 30 millimetres during the course of tonight. Some thundery rain in there as well and a particularly wet and cold day across central, eastern and southern areas of England during Wednesday and that rain heading into Scotland as well, so some heavy rain to come there, but more western areas staying dry. And incidentally, if you're looking at dry weather, uh, potential for some dry stuff on Thursday and potentially Friday as well, particularly across parts of the Midlands, northwest England and perhaps western parts of Scotland. But then we look at more rain coming northwards overnight Friday into Saturday. Of course, I'll uh, keep you updated on how things look uh, tomorrow uh, when we'll have a full detailed forecast. But for now, from Edgebaston, whatever you're doing, have a great day and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.